Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin Syedina Muhammadin Wala alihi wa sahabihi ajmain amma ba First of all I would like to thank God for the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Where until now I have been given the blessing of fight and help to complete this final assignment. And don't forget to send salawat and greetings to the great prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has brought us from the dark world to the bright world. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rizka Febrianti with name 204001216 from class A majoring in English Education, State Islamic University, Aluddin Makassar. In advance, thank you for the lecture, Dr. Andi Kaharuddin S.I.M. Hum, for all his guidance. This time, I will explain my answer related to the final question in the introduction to linguistic course. Just go to number one. My answer, language is one of the means or communication tool used by human and has been agreed upon by the speaker of the language. Regarding language, there are five important components that need to be considered, namely phonetic, morphology, syntax, semantic, and pragmatic. A linguist is someone who studies and researches linguistic with in-depth scientific studies where linguistic is the study of language and the relationship between language, linguist and linguistic is very close and is a reciprocal relationship where if one does not exist, the other does not exist. My answer, in my opinion, communication is the process of conveying a message to the other person with the condition that there is a sender of the message, the recipient of the message, and the message to be conveyed. There are three types of human communication system, namely uh, the first, speak communication system. Speak is generate when we are talking. Chomsky and 2006 says there are three types of linguistic knowledge to be able to produce speak. Namely, knowledge of semantic rules, knowledge of syntactic rules, and knowledge of phonological rules. Uh, the second, writing communication system in addition to speak. Writing is the second communication system commonly used by humans in their daily interaction. 3. Gesture communication system. Gesture is also known as a nonverbal or vocal communication system in which part of the human body, such as fingers, hand movements, and face, are used to communicate certain information or message in human social interaction, whether used to replace speech or used to accompany speech. My answer there are four types of knowledge, namely, one, knowledge of contents or information as someone just writing communication system to express his or her ideas he or she needs to make ideas or topic he or she intends to convey to knowledge of linguistic word spelling grammar knowledge of linguistic refer to the ability to encode information into language components such as word phrases uh, sentence by using correct spelling word selection and grammar and as a reader formulate concept or information and wants to de develop it into a written form he or she must use her or her linguistic knowledge in order to be able to transform it into paragraph or text three knowledge of organization why of organization information knowledge of organization refer to the ability to organize sentence and paragraph in a good order that a piece of writing it is easy for readers to follow. There are at least two basic structures used to organize a piece 
of writing and I'm list sentence to add paragraph structure. Four, knowledge of style, way of expressing information, knowledge of style, style refers to the ability to arrange paragraph in a good text structure. Text structure may be defined as the way that the information within a written text is organized. The organizing text pattern is beneficial to both readers and writers. May answer. There is about the origin of language. There are three, namely one, uh, the theory of different origin. In this theory, it is believed that good created a language. Two, uh, the theory of evolutionary development. In this theory. It is believed that linguist is the result of gradual change and development in human communication system over time. And three, the theory of language as a human invention. In this theory, it is believed that language is a human invention. My answer, phonetic is the study of sounds in language a uh, discussion about phonetic uh, there are three important components that need to be considered namely one speech organ or articulators namely speech organ used by human and two speech sounds namely the types of sound produced when we speak uh, or speak in this uh, case there are two types of speech sound, namely segmental uh, sounds or basic uh, sounds produced by each language, namely consonant sounds and vowel sounds, and suprasegmental sounds or uh, sounds that accompany or complement uh, segmental sounds, namely word stress, intonation, and juncture. Three. The production of speech sound, namely the process of how the sound is produced. Is produced. My answer. Phonology is the study of speech that is composed and how the speech or sound that is issued can be used by humans. Uh, discussing about phonology, there are two things that need to be considered. Namely, one, constructive sound, which is one sound that is replaced, will produce another sound and another meaning. And the phenomenon is called minimal pairs, which is the pattern used for limit. And there are three minimum requirements uh, that must be met in minimal pairs, namely, A. Contain the same number of segments, uh, letters, or alphabet. B. Differ in only one segment. And C. Have different meaning. 2. Non constructive sound. Namely, there is a change in sound in one phenomenon, but it turns out that the change does not change the meaning. And the phenomenon is called allopone which is the variety of sound that we emit but does not change the meaning. May answer? Morphology is the study of words in language. Discussing about morphology, we will learn about morphemes, namely the components of the language are commonly recognized as grammatical units or syntactical rules. In the form of sentence, clauses, phrases, word, and the smallest unit of a word but still has meaning. There are four types of morpem, namely need, read, suggestion, and dangers. Morpem consists of two, namely free morpem or the smallest unit of a word that stands alone and bound morpem or will have meaning if a word is tied to another word next is affix namely an affix 
is a bound morpheme that is attached to a free morpheme or rod to form a new word which might bring change in meaning, lexical, functional, or grammatical function. There are three types of affix, uh, namely prefix, suffix, and sersamfix. In morphology, we will study the structure of words, word patterns, and the process of word growth. My answer. Syntax is the study of how to assemble a word into a sentence. Talking about syntax, there are several approaches that speaker of certain language use when making sentence, namely one, the traditional approach uh, to syntax, two, the structuralist approach to syntax, and three, the transformative generative approach to syntax. Uh, the rules for the structure of press are non press, auxiliary verb press, uh, prepositional press, and uh, conjoined press. My answer semantic is the study of how to interpret words and sentences in a language. Discussing about semantics, there are two categories, namely, uh, one, lexical semantic is focused on studying the meaning of words and the meaning, meanings relationship among words. Uh, number two, sentential semantic is focused on studying the meaning of larger units than words, namely, phrases, uh, clauses, and sentences and the meanings relationship among them. The types of meaning relationship between sentences are presupposition, entitlement, uh, paragraphs, and contradiction. To appeals, case of interpretation in semantic are ambiguity and speak us. My answer, A. The teacher teaches the student on Thursday. The that teacher noun teaches auxiliary tense past is uh, the that student noun on prepositional and Thursday Thursday noun. B. My sister can sing an English song sweetly. My that sister noun can praise sing verb. And lexical that English noun song lexical noun sweetly adverb and C a man bought my old car yesterday a that man noun bought verb my that all uh, tense past a uh, car yesterday D the dog is casing the fat Cat continuously. The dead dog noun is auxiliary pro B casing pro in the dead uh, fat adjective. Cat noun and continuously adverb. Conclusion Linguistic is the study of language. Language is one of the communication system used by humans and has been agreed upon by language speaker. In language, there are five important components that need to be considered, namely knowledge of the sound system in language, uh, phonetic, knowledge uh, of words in language, morphology, knowledge of how to assemble a word in a sentence in language, syntax, knowledge of how to mean in a word sentence sentence in the language semantic and knowledge of how the language culture is used pragmatic so the relationship between the two is very close and reciprocal because if language does not exist then linguistics does not exist okay that was the explanation of my answer for the final assignment for the introduction to linguistic
course. First of all, thank you for all the guidance from the lecture and thank you for all the support, especially my parents. I think that that's enough for me. Sorry for all the shortcomings and wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.